Fort Wayne Mayor Tom Henry pleading guilty today just two days after he was arrested on drunk driving charges. Meanwhile, we're learning new details about the crash, his plea deal with prosecutors, and what this could all mean for his political future and legacy. Fox 55's Drew Fry was at the courthouse today and has more from the scene of the crash. Drew. Yeah, Kelsey, so here's what we know so far about the crash. Henry was leaving a fundraiser Saturday night when he admits that he had too many glasses of wine to drink. That's when he got behind the wheel of his city-owned car and was heading through this intersection here on Old Mill Road. So I'll take you through the intersection. He was speeding through this roundabout. That's when he crossed into the oncoming lane of traffic north on Old Mill Road. A woman in the car in that oncoming lane says she thought Henry was going to crash into her head on, so she honked her horn. Henry then veered his car, but still side swiped the woman. Now, Fox 55 was at the Bud Meeks Justice Center this afternoon for that initial hearing. Fort Wayne Mayor Tom Henry didn't have any comment when arriving or leaving the Bud Meeks Justice Center Monday afternoon. His only public statements on his OWI arrest coming in a Sunday press conference. I respect our legal process and I will adhere to the decisions made by our court. And I will accept those consequences. Inside the courtroom, Henry entered a plea agreement with prosecutors, pleading guilty to operating a vehicle while intoxicated, endangering a person. He will have his license suspended for 90 days and is not allowed to drink or own alcohol for the next year. He's required to submit to random drug and alcohol tests and complete an alcohol countermeasure program. In exchange, prosecutors will drop a second charge for having a blood alcohol concentration of 0.15 or more. And a year-long jail sentence is suspended. Local political analyst Andrew Down says the mayor has handled the fallout well so far, but he'll likely need to avoid the spotlight for a little while. But he's the mayor, so he's not going to be able to go underground permanently. He is going to have to be out in public doing things. The question is, how will he handle it when he's at a ribbon cutting and someone says, hey, tell us about your OWI? The mayor's administration and Fort Wayne police have both kept the details of the arrest quiet since the crash. Police Chief Steve Reed this morning defended his department's silence about the investigation. With any ongoing investigation uh, until things uh, are through the court system, um, the investigative records are, are kept. Henry will be back in court November 7th for his sentencing hearing. Fox 55 was able to get a probable cause affidavit for the crash. Officers noted that Henry had bloodshot eyes, slurred speech, and that you could smell the alcohol on his breath after the crash. They also listed his attitude as argumentative but cooperative. A breathalyzer showed that his blood alcohol concentration was at a .152, but it is important to note that he was tested about an hour and 15 minutes after this crash. Fox 55 will continue to update you as we learn more information about the crash and about Mayor Henry's future political career. In the meantime, in Fort Wayne, I'm Drew Fry, Fox 55 News.